Hey, it's great to have you here on WKYT from his bright and vibrant outfits. He didn't wear one today. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to his off-the-cuff sayings, a self-taught chef and baker who previously competed on and won on the Food Network's Holiday Baking Championship is here. We want to welcome back home Kentucky native Jason Smith. And it is good to see you. And that is uh, pretty uh, out there. <laughs> well, it's pretty out there. I figured since it was warm, even though it's fall, I'd right. get it in one more time. Well, sure. So. Flamingos and all, right? <laughs> That's right. That's right. <laughs> well, tell us uh, what you've been up to. First of all, uh, what was it like to be a winner on the show? Well, you know, it was it was most humbling after winning holiday baking and then winning Food Network Star, and I was like, my dreams are finally coming true. I'm getting to be on TV more and more and more. So uh, it was a great, great win. Uh, I'm tickled to death to be the next Food Network Star and working on different shows. Uh, Best Baker in America is the new show that I'm on, and I'm a judge on that, so I'm on a different side now. Now I hold somebody else's fate in my hands to uh, see what they've right. got. Right. What's that like, huh? Oh, it's wonderful. <laughs> it's wonderful. I get to eat, so. <laughs> well, it's okay. Well, I guess it is. Yeah. You, you know, you've always uh, emphasized convenience. I mean, people, uh, you know, really a good recipe, a good old Southern recipe can be very daunting. It can take hours to do, but you found some ways to cut it back and oh, share yeah. that with people. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, you know, I love taking those, like you said, good southern rooted recipes and making them new again or country bling as I call them so you know that's one thing that that I've loved to always do is just change it up a little bit you know some people are like well this is just old and boring how can I make it new again well honey I'm always putting country bling on it and you know it's always it's always making it new and vibrant again so so t what did you bring okay, here today? So today so what I brought for you, this is a bacon kale cornbread. So it's a basic cornbread base, and then it has onion and smoky bacon and fresh kale that you kind of saute down and mix that together, and then you bake it. And then when you bring it out, it has <laughs> some cheese in it, and it has that good bacon crust on it. Oh I mean, goodness. almost, I mean, you can see all that bacon inside <laughs> and that kale in there. I mean, it's so good, honey. It'll make your tongue slap your brains out. <laughs> and then great. I serve it with a a bourbon molasses butter. What? I didn't know such a thing it, existed. Yeah, well, it didn't until I made it. Oh, so, okay. you know, it's one of those things that's so good because... Bourbon it, it, molasses butter. Mm -hmm. Bourbon molasses butter. You take that good earthy molasses and a little bit of that Kentucky butter. Well, it's Kentucky butter. And then we use uh, Kentucky bourbon as well. And that all that works good together. You get the sweet, you get the salty, you get the earthy, you get the... Um, the wonderful ground cornbread. So it's just a, it's a party in your mouth <laughs> is what it is. If people want to catch you uh, on the show, how do they, how do they do that? Uh, I'm on every Wednesday night, Best Baker in America at 10 o'clock on Food Network. All right. Mm -hmm. Now you got to say as we're going out of here, your famous well, line. Lord, honey, it's been exciting. I'm just loving being here today. <laughs> and we appreciate you coming by.